Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your Money and Career Tarot reading. It will be from now really to the end of May 2021 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy. So this is the Tarot Grand Lux. What do we have for Cancer please in Money and Career Only and your Spirit's Guides? May 2021, please. What should Cancer expect? So what is the overarching energy? Overarching energy to start with for Cancer. <clears throat> Thank you. Card is... Oh, I like it. <laughs> Six of Wands, Cancer. Always a nice energy for me. Okay. Let's pull your card. What do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. Money and career only. Thank you. Two cards. Oh, wow. I've got finding and answers. Yeah, very nice energy there. Okay. Pop those there. And I will pull an angel card. What do we have, please? Money and career for cancer. Okay, thank you. So the message for you is visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you have, everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. Very nice energy. Okay, Cancer, so those are the main cards. Let's pull the tarot cards and see what we have. So I'm gonna pull five in total. Okay, so we have the 10 of swords to start with. That's your challenge. What's going for you, Knight of Swords? Interesting, it's tying in with here. Um, any obstacles to overcome? We've got three of wands. Advice from spirit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the world. And cancer, honestly. <laughs> Very nice energy. That's the nine of pentacles in your outcome. So the ten of swords. It's not an easy energy, you know, the ten of swords. But the saving grace of the ten of swords, it's a ten, which is a completion. Um, in the minor arcana, you know, it's gone as far as it's going to. This is somebody who's been flawed and um, overwhelmed. This can be to do with betrayal, hurt, loss, um, crisis as well. So whatever this is, and it feels like there's been a dark cloud, you know, certainly, you know, hanging around as a challenge position, you are able to release from this now. Whatever pain this has caused you, it feels like it's, it's, it's soon to be over. Because for some of you, there is change. The nights represent change, Cancer. And this night brings in news, information, a conversation that brings change. So I love the energy of this. It feels like finally there's the shift, the progress, um, clarity, you know, new, but definitely conversational energy. So lovely, lovely energy between those two. Absolutely finding direction, going in the right direction. What's, uh, any obstacles to overcome? You might be waiting a little bit, you know? The three of wands is your ships are coming in, but it might well be for some of you, there's a little bit of waiting. But we have a message of finding answers. So I feel for some of you, certainly with this six of wands energy, which I'll go to in a moment, but there's definitely, this is the beginnings of success. The first signs of success that you can see. These ships are coming in, but they're not quite in the harbor yet, but it's absolutely heading in the right direction. So again, some news where you can actually see and anticipate growth and expansion and success. Um, so yeah, what you've been manifesting, it feels like that is the first signs of it paying off. The world card is winning. The world card is worldly success. 
goal achievement. This is the advice from spirit. Um, it's also a significant completion, but it's a completion. Um, it's a completion that ends in victory. It's a completion that ends in that's as a result of your hard work, uh, accomplishment, efforts. Um, so we see the victory wreath here, and I have that mimicked here. You can see the victory wreath there with the six of wands, which I'm seeing very similar energies here. It feels there is some kind of victory, success, worldly success, achievement that's allowing you to step from one phase of your life because something is ending into another and it feels very beautiful and this is celebratory energy as well and the nine of pentacles is oh my goodness abundance luxury um somebody who has enough of in terms of money financial success it can be a card of self-sufficiency as well for those of you starting your own business you know or have been working on your own business this is about you know self-sustaining energy it can be the card of a successful entrepreneur um it's also very very good in terms of other areas in terms of money career finances this is somebody who has brought achievement financial career material achievement their way through hard work through earning every single one of those pentacles and understanding how to use their practical abilities to deliver results so i love this energy so we now move to this which is the six of wands a significant achievement uh, a significant victory coming your way and it's after a challenge which we can see there was a challenge here but it's a challenge that you put behind you with the six of wands I love the energy, love the energy here because this is just like somebody who has discovered their sense of self as well, what they're really capable of. So they, it's a well-deserved victory, it's a well-deserved achievement here, Cancer. So the message is visualize abundance in all forms. For some of you, it's interesting, I feel you're going to get the answer that you seek here. You know, this is news that brings change or a conversation or some information that brings change and it's resulting in some significant achievement so love the energy love the energy i'm going to pull you a final card final message for cancer please final message for cancer i'm just going to shuffle the cards actually final message for cancer thank you so we have rabbit sensitive soul strengthen your boundaries and cut cords and i definitely see that's what this knight is doing with this ten of swords he's bringing down that sword and he's not interested in what's gone anymore he's interested in what's ahead uh, because there's something to move forward for so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful a wonderful month for you cancer and i will see you next time thank you